Can you feel this? Yeah. If you want to have a very good laugh this weekend and just want something not really realistic or serious, then you might want to see what men want. Of course, over the past few weeks, we've seen a lot of um, advertisements and adverts on Instagram, social media, online about the movie. Of course, they spent a lot on the marketing. What men want was just a simple movie, not in real, not in true, a side fiction movie, but it was interesting. You need to stay tuned on the reel this week as I take you through what men want. Welcome back to The Real. This week, as I said earlier, I'll be talking about a foreign movie called What Men Want. And if you remember Taraji P. Henson from last year, I love the movie Acrimony and I can't stop talking about it. I am always excited when I talk about movie Acrimony and the story, but if you enjoy the movie called Girl Strip, then you're definitely going to like this movie again about a group of girls called What Men Want. Sweet new wheels. The pre-celebration for the big day, huh? I'm making partner, baby. <clears throat> Time to break that glass ceiling. We all know who deserves this. Give it up for our Summit Worldwide Sports Management's newest partner. Whoa! <laughs> uh, Allie, that pass was actually to Eddie. Woo! All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Ali, as she was called in the movie, was a very strong, ambitious, industrious lady. She worked in a group with almost 50 guys and she was the only lady doing quite well and going up you know, to the top ranks. She wanted to be the most senior partner, but of course you know there's always this stereotype and glass, glass ceiling and the lady cannot get to the highest level. So of course there was at a point she couldn't go further. She got really frustrated, really upset, really angry at why she couldn't move any further. But there were a few things she didn't know about herself. Of course, she was always very domineering, very bossy. She wasn't a very good team player. And that made everybody just didn't want to work with her. And that was the reason for her remaining in the same place. Although she was really very good, she had good strategies and good skills in the advertising agency and bringing people. But she wasn't getting everything right. But the main side of this movie started when she went out with her friends one evening on a date. And then she met a shrink called Sister who gave her one terrible tea which she drank and everything turned around. Someone you should talk to. I can help you connect with me. Why don't we have some tea? This After that night, she could hear the thoughts of men. Um, as far as she was kind of worried, what am I going to do with this? I'm hearing too many thoughts. It's getting to my head. It's driving me crazy. But she thought to herself, I could use this to my advantage. And of course she did. She started manipulating her colleagues and moving up the ranks. But life is really funny, and that's the lesson I'm going to go to quickly. Oh, that's just jasmine tea. If you don't count the weed, and the peyote, and the crack. At some point in time, we always love different things in life. We want to have everything, and then when we have it, we find out that there's more to life than having the best job or being the highest paid. There's just something more. You need friends, you need family. And she almost ruined everything with the gift, destroyed her friend's wedding, destroyed the guy that she loved, almost ruined her own happiness and love. Um, but I was happy that at the end, everything kind of you know, clicked back in, there was a good connection, and everything worked well for her to her good. So of course it was fantastic, and I liked it. Wow, oh, hello, welcome back, Miss Davis. Thank God this one didn't die on me. Starting today, no more drinking at work. Hey, that's too much information. I didn't say anything. I feel weird after last night. Yeah. That's what happens when tequila meets desperation. Okay, stop saying things you shouldn't be saying to your boss. Holy crap, can you hear my inner thoughts? I can hear your inner thoughts! To my verdict, I will say what men once deserves maybe a 7 over 10. I don't want to score it too high or too low. Of course, there were good sides, which I loved her dresses, were really nice. I loved the makeup and the costumes were good. I think I love the production and the locations chosen in some of the parts of the movie and how they made everyone laugh. But for me, you still need to have a very fantastic storyline which should make sense and not be so unrealistic. Of course, everything shouldn't be realistic. But for me, my own you know, key things are that the story should make sense and should have few lessons. And people should really understand that this is, this is real or it can happen. No. I should tap that ass. But most times, always not something that can happen. But if you want to have a good laugh, definitely, I will definitely recommend that you go check what men want. 
it had a good twist of you know drama and comedy, which everyone kept laughing and saying. Even when it was over, everyone you know still sat down there and were hoping that more scenes will come, which of course makes it a good movie. As usual, this week I will definitely always want to play with you. Make sure you do follow us across our social media handles, which is at Business Day NG on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is at Business Day. And do not forget to leave your comments at our comment sections. Tell us if you love the movie, if you want us to make some recommendations, if you have any movie in mind that you think you want us to watch and give you a verdict, I will be more than happy to you know, look into your comments. Do stay tuned always on The Real till I come your way again next time. I'm missing Real Housewives. Shaq finally has a winning hand. Why am I thinking in the third person? I smell toast. Am I having a stroke? Wait, I have toast in my pocket. Whew. <laughs>